We are live here in Nakuru, Kenya, where AAU TV is partnering with PASGA. And PASGA is the Partnership for African Social and Governance Research to bring to you the Egerton Pedal Cascade Training happening here at the Sarova Woodlands Hotel. This training focuses on transforming teaching and learning in higher education institutions in order to churn out graduates who are more employable. Within this course of the training, we'll engage with first time participants to know what they've learned here and how they plan on implementing these in their institution. And then again, will engage with people who have passed through this pedal training and know more about how they implemented what they've learned in the classroom and how students receive this new way of teaching. Do stay tuned with us for more engaging sessions with Pascal. The Vice-Chancellor Igaton University, Professor Ross Moya. Executive Director, Partnership for Africa Social and Governance, Professor Tate Aina. Director of the University Education, Ivisia, Ministry of Education, Kenya, Mr. Darius Mogaka Ogutu. Count Director of Education, Nakuru County, Dr. William Sugut. Delegates from different countries and institutions represented here today. Colleagues, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. good morning. On behalf of Egerton University, I welcome all to this special and crucial training on pedagogical leadership in Africa, in short, the pedal, cascade workshop, starting today for the next, I think, uh, one and a half weeks or two weeks. It's in my knowledge that pedal has been implemented in number of university programs, part of uh, programs, particularly the Master of Research and Public Policy, or what we refer to as MRPP, of which Igaton is one of the eight partners implementing this uh, program. The interest of MRPP, uh, the interest MRPP draws through enthusiastic applicants who might deal with them on a daily basis from different background is an indicator that it's an indicator of the relevance and development of its relevance and development in the society. PEDO aims to embed and catalyze systematic change in teaching and learning practices. No wonder the student exposed to this innovative way of teaching uh, develop special interest and passion on the subject. Quoting one of the students, Professor, this is a very special program which I wish everyone would undertake. And because of that comment and the passion I see the student having, I drew interest as a director of graduate school to try and find out what is this MRPP? What is it giving to students? which is different from the other students. And I actually called Professor Were and I said, I'm more keen and I'm more interested to find out what, is, what does MRPP do, which is different from the other subject. I'm glad Igaton University is hosting this workshop, is one of the partners of this workshop, with an intention to, ca to cascade these pedagogical innovation, innovations pioneered by MRPP program to other disciplines within the university. And also in the region I have seen, and other institutions in Africa. This is a milestone towards provision for delivery of sustainable and systematic change in teaching and learning in African universities, enabling the graduates to meet the job market needs for promoting strong economic growth. For Kenyan universities, Igaton included, this pedal cascading training provides, provides the basic preparation for universities to align to the new CBC education system. As we at Igaton are in the process of revising our postgraduate curricula to make our programs more market oriented, creative, innovative, as well as align them to the university mission and vision, the national development agenda, and the global village. 
this training could not have come at a better time for us. And I hope we will take full advantage to embrace Pendo pedagogy full in our curriculum within our university. Again, I welcome you all to Egerton University away from home. Karibuni.